In life, we all encounter obstacles, and those obstacles come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. The question is, how do we handle those obstacles? Do we attack them head on, or do we allow them to make us quit? Welcome to the No Quit Living Podcast, where we aim to motivate and inspire listeners to never give up on themselves, their dreams, or their goals. We will interview successful people from all walks of life as they share their no-quit stories when they had the choice to give up or give in, but they didn't. We thank you for listening, and we hope to be that jolt of positivity as you go for your greatness. Welcome to episode number 220 of the No Quit Living Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher J. Worth, and today's theme of the day is 1%. Our quote of the day comes to us from Thomas Edison. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Before we jump into today's episode, I'm happy to announce that we've just solidified a new relationship with our strategic partner, Con Life. More to follow at the end of today's episode. Over the last six months at No Quit Living, we've been identifying what it takes to be successful and accomplish goals. After many interviews, conversations, and plenty of research, one of the common themes has been the 1%. What we mean by that is taking a goal or objective and breaking it down into bite-sized pieces and attacking it in 1% buckets at a time. From the stage, I often discuss the process of losing weight. If someone needs to lose 30 pounds, it's pretty simple if you break it down into doable steps. Nobody ever gained 30 pounds in one sitting, nor has anyone ever lost 30 pounds after one great workout. The reality is that person gained 30 pounds consistently. The first pound, the second pound, the first five pounds, the first 10 pounds, and on and on. Weight loss is just the same. You lose that first pound, and then the next pound, and when you compound the weight loss one pound at a time, Fast forward a month or two, and there you have your 30-pound weight loss. It's not a difficult idea or concept to comprehend. It's actually quite simple, but it's not easy to do. It's not easy to take that 1% action each and every single day, every night, week, and month. But when you do, and when you do it consistently, that 1% compounds and grows to a bigger goal, objective, or successful accomplishment. I don't know any CEO or entrepreneur who has come up with an idea, and then five minutes later, they were immediately a successful millionaire. However, I have read about many successful people that took an idea or a concept and consistently worked on it each and every single day over months and years until ultimately that idea or concept became a successful business. It was through hard work and dedication, but most importantly, consistently taking those steps each and every single day, one person at a time. I recently read a fantastic book by Brian King, The 1% Intention. And it gave me such a new and simple perspective on the 1%. In the book, he breaks down how 1% of your day actually only equates to 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Think about that for one second. 14 minutes and 24 seconds is not a lot of time. But how many of us have given excuse after excuse as to why we just don't have enough time? But do we all have two or three or four hours to spare every single day? Of course not. But if you think about it, we all have 14 minutes and 24 seconds that we could spare. That 14 minutes and 24 seconds today, it's not a lot. But think about the positive impact it would have if you compounded over a week, over a month, or even over a year. As I've been an avid sports fan my entire life, I'm fascinated with studying the best and what separates them from the rest. If I had to define the difference, I would say it's the little things done consistently each and every single day, no matter what. You pick the sport. The best put in that extra 1% no matter what. When they're tired, sore, after a long road trip, or even after a big win, they put in that 1% every single day, and consistently when you compound it, that turns out to be the difference between good, great, and the absolute best. With that in mind, I'd like to share a quote by the most decorated Olympian of all time, Michael Phelps. If you want to be the best, you have to do the things that other people aren't willing to do. So with that in mind, and as we wrap up today's episode, I challenge you today to give your 1%, not 20% or 5 hours, but take 14 minutes and 24 seconds out of your day today and spend your 1% on you. Invest that 1% in becoming a better you, accomplishing that goal, or doing or trying that thing you've always talked about. As you go for your greatness today, don't give, accept, or allow yourself any excuses. Invest your 1% in you and on you, no matter what. Today's episode is sponsored by Khan. Your journey is your story. Khan is a lifestyle jewelry brand that simply exists to embody your unique personal journey and remind you that no matter how difficult life can be, anything is possible. Be the dream, be the change with Khan. Follow at Khan Life, Q-A-N, and support the mission at conlife.com, Q-A-N-L-I-F-E dot com. 
In life, we all encounter obstacles, and those obstacles come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. The question is, how do we handle those obstacles? Do we attack them head on, or do we allow them to make us quit? Welcome to the No Quit Living Podcast, where we aim to motivate and inspire listeners to never give up on themselves, their dreams, or their goals. We will interview successful people from all walks of life as they share their no-quit stories when they had the choice to give up or give in, but they didn't. We thank you for listening, and we hope to be that jolt of positivity as you go for your greatness.